Hi everybody. I am back with another video. And with this video, I wanted to talk about suffering. No, there's a lot of suffering in the world. But, let's look at it like this. Let's say you go to a restaurant and your waitress writes down your order. So when she goes into the back and brings your order out, what are you going to get? You're going to get what you order. So that was some messages I heard today from another channel that um metaphor or whatever they call it you know today there are a lot of people suffering and what do we want to do we can choose to suffer Or we can choose not to. If you keep doing the same thing over and over again. And don't respond to it different, differently. For a better outcome. Just because we get into a hard spot. And there is an opportunity put in front of you. But you know, it, that's not a really good option or fix. It's not a really good fix. Temporarily, it'll give you some kind of satisfaction. But before too long, if not immediately afterward, suffering comes. An example, ASAP, Rock, ASAP Rocky. Now, ASAP Rocky was put in a situation where he just could continue to ignore the agitator, or eventually he could turn around with an option I think I heard he said he had a rock. And he turned around with a rock or whatever. He threw the guy on the ground, did this and that, fought the guy. Temporarily, that ended that situation he was in. But once he put in the order to get the rock, to fight the guy, to defend himself. Once he put the order in, what came back? The order he put out is the order that came back. So, next thing he know is not almost immediately afterward. He's approached by Sweden police and arrested on charges of assault or whatever. So, he put out the, he put out the order to assault this guy and assault and he got back what he ordered. He got what he ordered, the assault. But what did assault do? It caused his suffering. So when you put out an order for so we put the order out for assault, he got suffering in return. He got arrested by Sweden police, he got put in jail. And also the fact that he could not relate to African Americans 
going through the suffering that they're going through since he could not relate to it. He put the order out, I can't relate to you. I can only relate to Beverly Hills. Um, his music and the bees, that's all he relate to. So he put out that uncaring order for other people suffering through the unjust, the system that he was unjustly became a part of. And the order came back to him. African Americans could not relate to his situation because he can't relate to them. And what happened to them? He got what it is no concern from the African American population um, group people community he got what he put out you put out a uncaring order and got that saying you put it out and therefore he got that order back so and therefore on both ends as a result everybody suffers African Americans are su suffering under that unjust system for order that was put out from wherever they ought to come from on the African American community. Which in he's a, he's not African American, but he's a part of the black community. Therefore, because of his skin tone, he's not immune to the struggle of African Americans. And black Americans as a group. He's not immune to that. He went to Sweden and find out that was the case. So, this message, all I'm saying is this. Don't put out an order of suffering and expect not to get what you actually order. You, you put out an order of suffering. When the waitress comes and gives you what you actually ordered, that's what you're going to get. Suffering. So, we need to have love and compassion for each other. Peace. We need to be the kind of person that's going to through our behavior, through our actions, how we respond to things. We want to put out an energy of peace. And now there are people that have a different agenda than you, and we are put in situations where we have to deal with the darkness of another person because they put you, because you are, you find yourself in that situation with them, so you, how you deal with it. And you would not want to, let's say, if the person come at you in an angry, volatile way, over misunderstanding or whatever, are you going to come back at them in an identical, volatile um, wait, no. Just because that person put out an order of angry, volatile behavior towards you, don't mean you have to send that order to them. You can deny. You can... You can deny to prepare that person's order, to prepare to send that order back. I can say if somebody sent an order to curse you out. So what you gonna do? Send their order back? Cussing them out? No. 
you try to deal with it in a peaceful way. If the person does not want to respond that way, well, I'm not about engaging people in craziness, in unnecessary drama. I disengage from it. So, I disengage from that kind of drama, which is what I experienced yesterday with a family member. They want to engage with me in this angry, volatile way. I choose not to re-engage or to give the order back for that. I choose to buy to be peaceful. The person spin it off as don't give or whatever. So, okay. But I didn't engage that person but they know because I related to others that we she could get that back. Because obviously the person is in a bad way where they don't want to hear nothing but their own way of thinking based on their own judgmental attitude based on their imperfection that has nothing whatsoever to do with me. And because their life is in a mess or whatever, the person wants to I say tear down my happiness dim my light but you know my light didn't dim and I'm still happy so but I'm not going to sit here and be a doormat and be treated as such that comes to an end I put a stop to that in 2017 I'm not going to be taking abuse from people who think they have a right to tell me how to live my life. What I should be doing, what I shouldn't be doing. When actually nobody is concerned about anything in my life that is a hard and that may cause me suffering. Say, well, fend for yourself. That's what I do. I fend for me. I do for me. So with all of this suffering going on, just because other people are suffering. We don't have to take the order and send it back to them the way it was given out. It's how we respond. So, with all that said, compassion, love, peace, and light. And light is knowledge. So, if you have the knowledge of what is going on, then you can take that knowledge and respond to an order of suffering that a person is asking for and sometimes begging and pleading for. You don't have to give it to them. So, with all that said, um, that'll be the end of this video. And I will catch you on another video.